Today, I am reviewing the TheraCup, a nifty little muscle stim unit that's kind of different than the average muscle stim device you might come across. Now, if you wanna know what my thoughts are on this product, and if you wanna have a chance at winning your own TheraCup, then stick around and watch this video. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another video. All right, so a short while ago, a company by the name of TheraCup reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to review their product. Now this is pretty cool because I never really have had someone request a review. Uh, and so that was kind of an honor actually, because I'm just a really small YouTube channel, uh, someone who exists to serve all of you. And so with that being said, I wanna let you know that everything you're hearing from me in this video, it's my own thoughts, my own opinions. I have, I have not been uh, reimbursed or financially compensated or anything of the like by TheraCup. So everything you're getting in this video are my own thoughts and my own opinions. Now I've been using this little device now for long enough that I'm pretty comfortable with the ins and outs uh, and what my real kind of thoughts are with it. So everything you're hearing from me, completely my own thoughts. All right, as a quick background, what is the TheraCup? Well, the TheraCup is just a muscle stim device. It's a little bit different from a typical muscle stim because typical muscle stims have electrode pads that you use that you place on your skin to drive an electric current into the skin to stimulate the muscles. And you certainly can do that with the TheraCup because the TheraCup comes with some electrode pads. I'll get into more of that in a minute. However, what's really unique about the TheraCup is you can actually also use the little silicone cups that attach to the stim unit and you can deliver the stim that way. So as I start to review this little device, we'll start right at the beginning. It was shipped to me in a nice little box. When you get one, it comes with a professionally looking box. Um, it also has a nice little sleeve to it. And on the inside, you're gonna find that it comes with a nice hard shell carrying case. The case is very well constructed and quite nice. And that's something that you certainly want to have with a device like this, because with it being a uh, smaller portable device, you're gonna wanna have a hard shell case that you can carry it around in in order to protect it. Now on the inside of the hard shell case, you're gonna find that there's a couple little pouches that you can use to store things like the included USB-C recharging cable, the electrode pads, the instruction manual, or anything else that you choose. So the hard shell case, certainly a nice thing to have and for the price point. I'm certainly glad that they included it. It's just gonna make sure that the device stays safe and that you're comfortable carrying it around. Now as a quick overview to the TheraCup, again, what comes with it is you get the nice little kind of two stim heads, you get the two silicone cups, then you also get a pair of rectangular electrode pads as well as a pair of circular electrode pads. And you can swap these out. Basically all you do is you wind up taking the little stim device, pop it off like that, and then you can clip it right on to an actual electrode pad or back and forth. So you can have the two electrode pads driving the current or the two cups. That's a pretty unique little feature about this guy. And then just to kind of continue on, you have three different modes that you can select with the actual stimulation and you have 15 different levels for each mode. So mode number one, they call the vibrating massage. I really like this one. It's arguably my favorite mode. Mode number two, they refer to it as the pounding vibrating massage. Again, really like this one, like mode number one and two, like they're kind of tied for first place for me. Mode number three, they call prickling and vibration massage. I'm not really a fan of this one, just didn't really seem to be my forte. But again, that's gonna be different for everyone. But for me, modes one and two are where it's at. Now the device is USB-C rechargeable. It's a nice little feature about it. You don't have to worry about external batteries or anything of the sort. It comes with the included USB-C cable. So you just basically plug the cable into the TheraCups and then plug it into a power bank or some other power source. And then it's gonna recharge and then you're off to the races with doing more stim. The TheraCup also has an auto 10 minute shut off. So after 10 minutes of use, it's gonna shut off. You can quickly turn it back on and keep going if you want or use it on another body part. But after 10 minutes, there's a nice little auto shut off feature for it. it. Also comes with a limited one year warranty. So that's a nice little peace of mind factor to have if you are purchasing this device. So let's talk about the quality of the TheraCup. Overall, it's got quite nice quality to it. Uh, really no major issues. I think that it's built and constructed quite nicely. I've been using it for a short period of time here and long enough that I feel that again, it's something that would hold up to uh, the test of time and much more prolonged use. The only thing that I would say I have my eye set on, it's not even really a concern, but just something I'm gonna keep my eye on is actually just the wire attachments where the wire goes into the actual Thera, TheraCup uh, stem portion. So I'm just keeping my eye on that because with the versatility of this and you can place the different cups or the different pads at further lengths away, you're kind of jiggling the cable around a lot. And so if you're not careful, you could maybe kind of uh, jar the wire connection loose on the inside or even just disconnect it entirely. 
I think as long as you're being reasonable with it, you don't have to worry about that, but it's just something I'd keep my eye on. Next, if we're talking about the actual quality of the cups, the silicone cups, they're quite nice. And again, I love them because you can just wipe them clean after you use them. The inside edge is a bit sharp. So it's kind of one of these interesting things where if you're using on like a thinner portion of the skin or delicate skin, you might find that the inside edge almost just kind of bites into the skin a little bit. This is me being really, really nitpicky. And I don't really know if they can change that because you basically have to make these cups um, that are designed in a way where they can carry the electric current um, from the stem head down into the actual cup. So um, something you just gotta keep in mind if you have sensitive skin. Now as for the quality of the electrode pads, the pads are great. Again, really sticky, just as you'd expect an electrode pad to be. Uh, again, the size of the electrode pads, the rectangular ones are nice for large areas like the leg. Circular ones you can use for shoulders or other areas, but again, no issues or uh, concerns with the quality of the pads. Now in terms of the actual kind of suction quality of the TheraCups, they do stick pretty well to the skin, but there's a couple of things to be mindful of and go over here. First of all, I wouldn't necessarily use the TheraCup for the specific like therapeutic uh, cupping effects of it. The cups stick to the skin well enough if you're using them in the right place and under the right conditions, but they're not gonna provide as much of a traditional therapeutic effect for cupping as say, uh, you know, your general silicone cups or rock pods, for example. Um, but that's okay because I actually like a unique kind of factor of the TheraCup here for that reason. So if you compare the standard silicone cup on the TheraCup to something much more like a rock pod, for example. So again, rock pods, these things are just incredibly powerful for the suction quality they have for, again, the actual therapeutic benefit of cupping, which by the way, if you don't know a lot about cupping and wanna learn more, I do have a video on that. You can check it out. I'll put a little uh, video card up here and you can click on that and watch that. But when it comes to the actual suction power, you actually don't want these things to be too aggressive if you're looking for a therapeutic effect from the cupping itself. So with muscle stim, you might be using it for five minutes or upwards of 10 minutes. And if you have a very high power suction cup on, well, that can just really almost be too much in terms of the fact that you're really gonna get a lot of bruising or discoloration. It's not necessarily a harmful thing, but with a high powered cup on for that long, you'll certainly be discolored for like upwards of like a couple of days or even a week or more. And so I think that would probably be a little bit too much uh, for the average person. So these cups, they have a general decent amount of suction to them, but it's nothing too crazy. So I wouldn't use the TheraCup uh, with hopes of getting a lot of therapeutic benefit from the actual cupping itself, but that's okay because what I love about this is the fact that I can use these cups without having to always burn through uh, using and kind of wearing out the stickiness of electrode pads. Sure, I can always buy more electrode pads, but for areas of the upper body, I've been quite thrilled with the fact that these cups stick on pretty good and still deliver a good stim current uh, to give me uh, the muscle stim that I need without having to uh, necessarily kind of unpeel or unstick an electrode pad because uh, I didn't get it in the right spot and then try and peel it off, stick it back on somewhere else. The cups make this incredibly easy. Basically, again, I could just put it on, squeeze it, and then it's stuck on there pretty good. And then from there, I can just drive the current into the muscles. Again, if we're looking at the actual suction power, this is good enough for upper body, I found. I've been using it on shoulders and upper back. Works quite well for that, but doesn't seem to be as powerful for kind of staying on the skin for areas like the legs or where there's a little bit less ideal conditions in terms of uh, body hair, for example. So on the legs for guys, might not be sticking that good. That's where you're gonna want to use the electrode pads. The electrode pads stick great. So if need be, just buzz down or shave down the skin a bit so you have uh, less um, impedance and you can get a better current into the muscles. But for the upper body, the cups work quite nicely. Again, not nearly as powerful as something like a rock pod, but you don't want it to be because if I had a rock pod on that could deliver uh, stim for 10 minutes with that amount of suction force on there, well, I'm just gonna wind up basically turning my skin purple for a long period of time. So I actually like the fact that the TheraCups aren't all that powerful for the actual therapeutic suction effect. So the bottom line here is that I like the cups for the shoulders and the upper body as long as, again, the contour is good and the skin's not uh, uh, too hairy or just has any other ways of kind of impeding the suction um, from holding onto the skin. Works really good for upper body. For the lower body, I'm just gonna generally use the actual electrode pads. And remember that if you can't quite get enough electric stim current with the cups, the um, 
the pads are just always gonna give you way more stim because you have much better surface area contact onto the skin uh, as long as the pads are put on in the right manner. Now, if we talk about the overall stim power of the TheraCup with the 15 different levels of intensity they can use, again, I find that the intensity is more than adequate for most areas that I've been using. Um, anything for the upper body with the actual cups. Again, I've been doing a lot over my shoulders. I got a shoulder history and so it feels quite nice on there. I get up to around uh, level eight or nine, and then I'm getting more than adequate uh, muscle twitching and kind of other characteristics I'm looking for with the muscle stim. So levels eight or nine seem to work pretty good for the cups on the upper part of the body. On the lower part, I could use the cups and get decent uh, stim levels, but I had to really max it all the way out to level 15. And even then, it uh, didn't really work good. But if I switch it over to using the pads on the lower body, I'm up to like level six or seven, and it is more than enough uh, stim intensity at that point. So the power output on the Theracup works great. No issues with that. Um, 15 uh, stim level should be more than adequate for any mode that you're using. And again, always just scale it up uh, nice and slowly. And this does have a little ramp feature on it where it's not just gonna necessarily start blasting up to, you know, if you're on level 10, it's not gonna jump to level 10 right away. The Theracup will scale up over a few minutes. Quite a nice feature. You always want your stim units to work that way so there's no nasty surprises um, because you don't want nasty uh, surprises when you are using stim devices. So what are my overall thoughts on this device? Well, I quite like it. This is a nifty little stim device that if I was in the market for one in particular and I didn't want anything with tons of bells and whistles, I just wanted a very kind of plug and play stim device, this might be the one for me. And again, I love the fact here that I can just use the silicone cups on a lot of areas of the body to deliver the stim current that way without having to use electrode pads. It's a lot easier and more convenient. I'm not burning through pads. And again, um, just a little bit more uh, kind of straightforward to use without any hassle of the pads. Now there are more sophisticated stim units out there that have uh, many more parameters to choose from uh, and other bells and whistles. And those stim devices are quite nice, but again, they tend to be much more expensive than the Theracup. So for people who just need a general kind of introductory uh, plug and play stim device, this is a nice little device to use. Now, with that being said, again, if you are hoping to use the device to get a lot of therapeutic cupping out of it in addition to um, the actual stim, uh, I wouldn't necessarily uh, kind of have your thoughts going down that road. Again, you will get a nice little uh, suction effect and you will get some what we call petechiae or skin discoloration from um, just kind of blood vessels kind of basically undergoing some stress from the suction. But I'm really more, uh, really satisfied with this from a muscle stim standpoint. And again, the, the cupping is just an added little benefit from the therapeutic standpoint, but from the fact that I can just basically put the cup on, squeeze it, and then it's stuck on the skin. Big fan of that. Now as a bonus tip as well too, I will say that generally when I use therapeutic cups, um, I wind up kind of putting it um, on in a way where I basically kind of take the pressure out of the cup first. So I kind of squeeze it and then put it on. However, I found with the TheraCup, just if you do wind up using it, works better if you actually put it on the skin first, make the seal and then press down and then lift and then it's gonna be staying on the skin that way. Now, a couple of things that I think could be improved here for TheraCup. Again, overall, it's a great device. It's a nice little plug and play uh, stim unit without the bells and whistles, which uh, not everyone needs. But one of the things that I'd like to see is an instruction manual that's a little bit more clear in terms of um, how to operate the device. It's got some instructions in there, but I was a little confused at knowing kind of um, when the uh, device was on from a stim perspective and uh, when, uh, when it wasn't. Because when you change the modes, it automatically resets, it stops, and then you have to kind of scale it back up. I wasn't aware of that. Um, I also wasn't aware that uh, solid green means that the device is on, but it's not in use. Blinking green means that the device is in use. I didn't find that anywhere in the instruction manual from what I saw. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I'm dumb, I don't know. But the way it works if you are using it is when you power it on, the solid green means the device is on, but it means that it's not providing any stim current. Now, when I hit from there and it's blinking, now it's delivering a stim and then as I press up, it'll go up to 15. And then again, if I press down, it'll take the current down. Now, if you hold down the M to change to different mode, it's back to solid. And that just means that there's no stim current in use. So that's where you have to start scaling it up from zero. It makes sense why Theracup has done that that way. I like that, but it wasn't really kind of clearly delineated in the instruction manual. So it took me a few minutes to figure out. Now, the next thing I will say here, this is again, um, just something that if it could be kind of improved for a version 2.0 might be nice, is if there was some type of way where you could know which mode you were on. I mean, you will know in terms of how the stim feels, but um, if there was maybe a little 
uh, light somewhere, a LED light that changed colors based on the mode, you know, that might be a nice little added uh, bonus. I know that that kind of might increase the cost or might have to kind of change how the, the TheraCup is designed. These aren't necessary things, they're just nice little things. Uh, same with if there was some type of power output level where you could kind of know which uh, output level you were on. That would be a nice thing, but again, it's not necessary because really you just want to go by the feel of the current intensity. But again, if I'm just kind of wondering what an improved uh, or updated version could look like, maybe those were some things I would like to see, but they're not necessary. All right, now if you've made it this far into the video and you want to get a TheraCup of your own, well, you might be in luck because TheraCup was gracious enough to send me a second unit that they said I could give away to viewers on the channel. So if you want to have a chance to win this, this is all you got to do. In the comment section, I need you to leave a comment explaining why crunchy peanut butter is so much better than smooth peanut butter. I mean, let's face it, smooth peanut butter still tastes great, but just kind of eh. Crunchy peanut butter, I know, I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's awesome, it's the way to go. And I want to hear why you agree that crunchy peanut butter is the way to go. And if you leave a comment below, I'll read through all of them, whichever comment I like the most, you're the winner of the TheraCup and I'll get that sent out to you. So there you go, there's my thoughts on the TheraCup. Overall, just a great little nifty stim unit. One that's great if you're in the market for one that's just straightforward, plug and play, not tons of fancy parameters. Again, love the fact that you can use it traditionally with the electrode pads or you can use it with the silicone cups. Adequate power, more than enough. Build quality, pretty good overall. So all in all, I think it's a great product that if you just want a reasonably priced stim unit, one that's not gonna break the bank or just overwhelm you with different parameters, this might be a good consideration for one to get. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Keep looking after yourselves. Keep looking after one another. Keep making great things happen. And I will see you in the next video.